after yogasanas uh, coming to pranayama so as i mentioned earlier pranayama are yogic breathing techniques so we are channelizing the breath um, and creating a feeling of wellness in the whole body and the mind so it is not new you now people know that breath is the connecting link between the body and the mind so uh, in order to achieve optimum mental health and optimum body health we can definitely make use of the breath so here i have put some simple pranayama that you can start doing immediately first of first is bhastrika or bellows breath um uh, maybe we will make another video uh with tutorials for all these asana all these pranayamas uh at the moment it is um important for you to know which ones are better to do so bhastrika is bellows breath is a forceful breathing from the abdomen so you can do uh, around 20 breaths uh three rounds each uh kapalabhati is also called as breath of fire that is also very useful in this current situation to increase the lung capacity to improve your immune system nadi shodhan or alternate nostril breathing is also another uh, very simple technique that helps to balance both the hemispheres and also um helps to create more relaxation in the mind brahmari or the b pranayama is another technique uh last one is called as sudarshan kriya yoga sudarshan kriya yoga is a unique yogic breathing practice which is taught in the art of living happiness program you know the art of living um, foundation international foundation this involves several types of cyclical breathing patterns ranging from slow and calming to rapid and stimulating and uh, there is mounting evidence to suggest that this breathing this can be beneficial it is a uh, low risk and doesn't have no it has no cost for the treatment of stress anxiety post traumatic stress disorder for boosting the immune system and other um, uh, systems in the body so i would definitely recommend uh, doing all of these pranayamas if you know them already if not i would say definitely uh, learn them at the earliest now coming to mudras mudras are simple hand gestures so um, uh, we know that our hand you know we have all these five fingers uh, they represent different elements in our body so the thumb represents the fire element the index finger represents air ring thing uh, middle finger is uh, space earth ring finger is earth and the little finger is water so when we are uh, you know connecting these different fingers then we are uh you know channelizing the energy and then bringing in a balance in that specific element and specific uh systems are getting stimulated and thus achieving the um whatever benefits we are uh, aiming at so specifically uh now here i have put three mudras udanavayu pranavayu and apanavayu mudra they are very simple to do udanavayu the first three index middle and ring finger along with the thumb pranavayu is the uh, ring and little finger and apanavayu is the index finger at the base of the thumb and middle and ring finger at the top of the thumb so the way how we practice the pranayama mudra pranayama uh, we hold both our hands in um these mudras one after the other keep them on our lap facing the ceiling and close our eyes sit comfortably with spine erect and take long deep breaths if you know the ujjayi breath or the victorious breath you can take ujjayi breaths or if not just take long deep breaths so um after the mudras definitely meditation meditation is 
something that people are getting more and more familiar with and we should never underestimate the power of meditation so um, basically your immune system is not just a physical mechanism it actually transmits your thoughts and moods to yourself so if you are very positive if you are very calm in your mind then that will translate into your body and your immune system will be strong so for that to keep a calm mind to keep a sane calm peaceful positive mind a meditation helps instantaneously and um, also it helps there are so many researchers you can you know go to google and just research on the benefits of meditation they are actually this meditation 20 minutes of meditation is responsible for you know reducing the inflammatory cells and it also creates more antibodies in the body and you know it is there are so many different ways with which meditation is helping us to cope with difficult situations whether it is mental or physical or both so at this time we should definitely make it a point that we meditate at least twice a day now coming to some um uh oh, some recipes this is an ayurvedic uh, homemade tea that you can make and this will help to boost your a uh, system to help di- to improve your digestion you can everybody uh, can have this uh, the recipe is here if you take 1 liter of water you can add ginger turmeric peppercorns and cloves and you can boil it for a few minutes and uh, you can take this one cup around 150 ml three times a day before food this is a uh, very potent the, all these herbs which are in it are potent antiviral antibacterial antimicrobial anti inflammatory immunomodulators a lot of those things uh, if you if we want a correlation with the uh, you know modern science but in terms of ayurveda we see that these are very potent um things which support the digestive system which support detoxing which support the lung health which are very good bronchodilators and um help will help you fight the virus another combination is the spice mix uh you can take ginger juice pepper powder honey half a teaspoon and then you can lick this two times a day before food this is also a very simple combination another combination uh, with that you can take is a combination of equal proportions of uh ginger powder pepper powder and long pepper powder all 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio and take uh, around 2 to 3 grams with honey two times a day so this combination of ginger pepper and long pepper is called as trikatu in ayurveda so trikatu is a very powerful herb for uh, removing the excess uh, phlegm and mucus accumulation for balancing kapha from for boosting the digestion so you can also take that as a prevention now here i have put together different ayurvedic herbs so if you have access to ayurvedic herbs definitely you can directly start taking uh, these herbs which are uh, which have a lot of benefits amrit is sida cordifolia amrit tulsi amla kala megha neem shakti drops immunogen ashwagandha sitapalladi so uh, different combinations fr- um, uh, can be made out of this you can have amrit tulsi and shakti drops together or you can have tulsi amla and shakti drops together or immunogen and shakti drops and sitapalladi if you have already some uh, um, cold or flu or some upper respiratory infections you can have sitapalladi and um tulsi combination so um this is a general guidelines these are the herbs if you have them at home uh, maybe you can use them but i would say uh, before taking ayurvedic herbs it is important that you consult an ayurvedic uh, physician or a practitioner to be sure also um if you have any more questions if you have any 
other suggestions you can feel free to write to us so i hope this presentation was simple and useful and that um, um, you will be able to take care of yourself and your family in a better way so thank you and uh, take care and bye bye